Hey everyone, it's Amanda Jean. Uh, this is my makeup collection. I'm about to show you my very small makeup collection. Well, I guess it's, I would hope that it's average for an ordinary girl. Ordinary girl makeup is what we do on this channel. Girls who love makeup but aren't as clued in as the makeup gurus out there. Maybe someday I will be, but for now we're just ordinary girl makeup. Uh, so enjoy. Okay. So this is my very dirty bathroom with my very, very cluttered sink or countertop or whatever. There's the Tatcha that I got from Sephora that I still haven't used because <laughs> It's a really thick moisturizer and I don't do thick moisturizers, but it's so pretty I wanted it on the counter. But now I need to clean off everything else so that it, you know, like stays pretty instead of just part of the clutter. Uh, <laughs> so moving around the clutter, including my husband's glasses and my daughter's toothpaste. Uh, <laughs> we've got a really old Rimmel bronzer that is probably expired by some Stridex that is definitely expired and my deodorant and a really old micellar cleansing water that I'm just trying to use up but I really like my oh sorry friends pregnant I'm having a hard time breathing oh, it's magic eraser I like my makeup eraser I think it works really well and I don't have to use anything but hot water. So here I've got an Anastasia brow gel that I've been using, also from working at Sephora, an Hourglass mascara, also from working at Sephora. This is, I think this is the blush. This is the, this is the blush from a couple years ago when they made a snow girl. A lot of great blushes. We've got some tweezers in there. Um, yes, that is Halloween makeup that I haven't put away. And there's my rounds that should be in a drawer, but somebody took them out and I never put them back. This is a mascara sampler from my birthday in 2020. And then the world shut down. So yeah, I can take this card in still. When I worked at Sephora, I asked and they said that these never expire. So I can go in and get what I'm probably going to get is the Lancome mascara because that's the one I liked the most. If we do a quick little review, I hate the Dare Real. I don't think it really works. Um, lights, camera, lashes is what I used to love and now I think it's just okay. The Monsieur Big is what I've been, what I really liked from this. The Fenty was okay. And the Kat Von D, or which is now KVD, um, was nothing to write home about. Nothing that got me super excited. So that's that one. Um, here's the new Naked palette. Let me know if you want me to do a review on that from an ordinary makeup girl's perspective. This is one of the major places I keep my lipsticks and lip glosses. Um, also, I've also got some. These are samples from like way back when, like before I had my daughter. So this is like four years ago. So they should probably be thrown away. They're they're of um, solid foundations because I wanted something that would travel easier to school with me at the time. Um, this is an old Bite Beauty holiday set that I'm like never going to get rid of because I loved Bite Beauty and then Bite Beauty died and I'm so sad. Anyway, those are the colors that are in there. I wish that I had bought more and got some neutral shades and stuff because I love those a lot. Um, I've got an old melted chocolate Too Faced lip from um, years ago when I bought a Christmas set. Um, 
Too Faced lip gloss. I think this is, this isn't Pacifica, is it? But it's like a, it's really old and it's dead, but I can't bear to get rid of it because it's like, uh, I want to say organic, but that's not the right word. Bear with me, I'm pregnant here. Anyway, I've got a Sephora one in there. I've got a Marc Jacobs one from Sephora birthday stuff. This one from Wet n Wild is a good color. It's really old. I think this is a Sephora lip liner. Yeah, to go with the lipstick. The funny thing about this lipstick is I was looking for a color that could be seen from on stage. But the girls at Sephora at that time obviously had no idea about stage makeup. So they were like, that'll be seen from stage. It is not seeable from stage, but it is still a really pretty shade. And anyway, mostly I've got pinks in here because I put a bunch of lipsticks in here thinking this will be my seasonal lipstick area. But so I put a bunch in there for spring and then never panned out. This is the first holiday makeup set I ever bought. And I still really, really love it. It's where I fell in love with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. Soleil, it's really good. There's some colors in there that I used all the time. And I know I shouldn't still use it, but I still use it. So when I was working in Sephora, I used it a little bit more because I wore more makeup when I was working at Sephora. So it came to live in here for a while. Oh, hey, look, it's my NARS bronzer. I got this. Yeah, it's the Laguna bronzer. That is a medicine dropper for my daughter for when she has a cough. And now I have some cough medicine on my bronzer. Anyway, I got this in another birthday thing. This is Hourglass, the, the trio. I bought it before they came out with the other color. And you can see I hit pan, except for the bronzer. I really like dim light um, for when I have too light of a foundation on and then it kind of like tones it down. But I think I've been getting better at choosing foundation. I don't know. Anyway, Micah Beauty Cosmetics had uh, Oh no, I can't think of what they're called, but they're the little floaty booths at the mall. And they convinced me to buy three of them. This is one of them. I was gonna use it at a Sephora makeup themed thing, but I got sick. So I never used it, but it still hangs out here on my sink. Here's a bunch of brushes, mostly, most of them I use. Some of them I don't. Um, I don't even remember why this Tupperware got brought in here in the first place, but then I decided to start putting my brushes in it. And that is how things have ended. Oh, here's the Sephora foundation samples that we don't need here anymore. Here's a pregnancy test, because I thought I was pregnant and I was right. Um, all of this pile, except for the Cody Airspun, all of this pile used to be in this bag and then I went on a small trip and decided I didn't want to take all of that makeup with me so it all just got piled here and then I still have just the basics that I took on that trip in this bag and we'll get to it um so here's this is the wait there we go this is the makeup eraser sponge I got it because it came in a ball and they said you can wash it in the washing machine. It washes okay in the washing machine. I have since lost the ball that it goes in to go in the washing machine, or rather my daughter has. My daughter took a bite at it. And she was way too old to be taking bites out of sponges, but she took bites out of my makeup sponge still. I'm going to resent that for a long time. Cody Airspun Powder because Tati recommended it and now Tati's broken up with it and what am I going to do? Um, and this is from Sephora, or from working at Sephora, a Brow Wiz, um, sample, also from working at Sephora, 
a Krista one. I really liked it. Um, this came in a Sephora birthday thing. I got a lot of minis from birthdays because I just made sure to do that. This is one. This is the orgasm blush that comes from working at Sephora. Really love this moisturizer or foundation or whatever you want to call it. Um, expires in 6 of 2021. I'm still using it. It still is working good. Um, this is an on brand. Oh, hey, look. I got, I got this in a subscription box. Two sided brush. It doesn't have its brand on it or anything. Um, my mother in law got me the man eater mascara for Christmas last year. This is the off brand eyeliner eyebrow pencil. This is, I bought my daughter brushes for Christmas so she would stop using mine. So it lives here now. Um, Benefit Lashtopia, not really a fan. Another thing that I got from working at Sephora. Um, my mother-in-law bought me shadow insurance for Christmas last year. I was a lion for Halloween, or at least I tried. And so I got a white eyeliner to make that eye look pop. I bought this pencil sharpener from Sephora ages ago because I had a really big eye pencil. That you'll see in a little bit because of course I don't get rid of anything. Wet and Wild Highlighter. Born to Run. I bought it when it was on discount and I was so proud of myself for that, for waiting. Um, and then this sample, um, so I, I keep saying last year but it was technically two years ago now. My mother-in-law bought us a massive makeup, which of course was like my favorite thing ever. And um, this last year she bought me this, which I also super loved. Um, I think, oh, no, never mind, never mind. We'll talk about it later. Um, anyway, she also got us these bags of like samples of stuff. So this came in the bag of samples, but it didn't come with a brand on it. It just came like this. And so I'm like, an eyeshadow, is it highlighter? I don't know. It's okay for what I use it for <laughs> whenever I use it. Okay, let's get rid of these bottles of prescriptions. I mean, y'all can know what I'm on, but I don't want you to see my address. Um, when I was working at Sephora and I had the discount, the Hourglass Holiday sets came out and this year they had three and it was a really big deal and I was super excited because I finally was in a place where I could buy one so I bought the one for the lightest complexion even though the medium complexion sorry guys you're in the dark even though the medium complexion had the elephant on it and elephants are my favorite the pans are a lot smaller than I thought they'd be, and that was kind of disappointing. And the thing about the lighter complexion one is it doesn't have any bronzer. So, it's the only complaint I have. Jaffra, I don't know if you guys know about that MLM, but I got involved in that for a small bit. So I have a mirror from there. My mother-in-law bought me years ago the Naked Honey. Still use it, still love it. It's a good staple. What's the word I'm looking for? Natural, neutral look, neutral. Here's my chocolate sundae from Too Faced. That was a Christmas present too. That one was from my sister and I love it and I use it all the time. This is the Fenty Beauty like BB cream or whatever. I don't know how much I like it for the BB cream qualities but I like it because it's really lightweight, so I don't feel like I'm, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, like, towering on the makeup. So I like that one. Um, this came in 
that box. Eyeshadow primer potion. I haven't used it enough times to really tell you whether or not I like it. I know I like the shadow insurance from Too Faced. Um, Maybelline Brightener. It's instant age rewind. I have to hide this from my daughter because she thinks it's the best makeup ever. Maybe I should just buy her her own and buy myself a new one. Anyway. But I like it because it brightens under my eyes. And then just so that I could have a concealer, I bought Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Works just fine. I don't have any real opinions. Urban Decay Perversion. I don't have any real opinions on this one yet either. But it came in the box. As far as I know, it's okay. So I have no complaints about it. And I have my travel perfume in here because I traveled last time. And I have my Carmex because I traveled. And Carmex is the best, in my opinion. Um, this was another gift from a couple Christmases ago. The Tarte Double Take Liner. Still works, still good. Wet n Wild Eyebrow. Retractable Eyebrow Pencil. It's the one that's in like a triangle shape. I really like that one. So this is the collection that lives in the bathroom. Now to move to the next area. I forgot that I also have stuff in drawers. Not this drawer apparently. We can look in, oh, it's this drawer. In this drawer, I have other beauty things like nail polish remover and samples from Sephora. This. Glow Recipe Hyaluronic Cream I like because it's um, it's like a moisturizer that isn't heavy and I'm a fan of not heavy moisturizer. Um, Overnight Recovery Balm also from working at Sephora. Didn't really use it a lot so I don't know. Um, same thing with this pharmacy toner. I just don't ever wash my face and I know that that is really terrible. There's a toilet paper tube in here for some reason. And the Tatcha Deep Cleanse. I tried it a couple of times. I'm not a super fan of it. And this sucker, the Sunday Riley, whatever this is, it's for under your eyes. This hurts under my eyes and makes it peel like crazy. So we don't use that. And then in here we have my trusty Caudalie Immuno Perfect Serum. That I love and that makes my skin look beautiful and an old Tula face cleanser that came with this bag that is beautiful the moisturizer that came with this bag set is floating around in my house somewhere and the um, facial scrub lived in my shower until it died and it's gone and I wish I had more it's on my list of things to buy. Anyway, okay, now, now that is everything that lives in the bathroom. Okay, so now we have the messier part of the makeup collection, even though I know we already saw a really messy part. So my beautiful perfume that my mother-in-law bought me for Christmas this year, this last year, whichever. More Micah Beauty. I told you I bought three. My daughter loves them. They float around the house. Um, an old Lorac palette that I bought when I started getting into makeup. I'm not a huge fan. I bought this one and another one. They're not, I don't know, they're nothing to write home about. They're not super great, but I keep them around because I never throw anything away. This was a sample from Sephora that my daughter got to and tore apart. This is my drawer of stuff from working at Sephora, plus a couple of other things that I just, this is kind of the drawer of stuff that I just needed to shove somewhere, but mostly it's the Sephora samples or um, that Glow Recipe Hyaluronic Cream came in here and I kept the box just in case I needed to read anything about the ingredients or anything. Got Boy Smells sample. You get a lot of samples of stuff when you work at Sephora, and I didn't get to use any of them. 
Um, I got to use some things, but I didn't get to a lot of it. And so I'm hoping that maybe now I'll be able to grande lash. I don't know if I really want to try that. Oh, I've got a pen in here. I really want to try the Milk Hydra Grip, though. But the thing is, I don't really wear makeup as often as I used to. Aha, this lid goes to this perfume, I think. Oh, no, it doesn't. Ah! Anyway, but like, I got a Charlotte Tilbury concealer, and I got this gigantic cream thing. I got Vegamore hair stuff, although I don't need help growing my hair, especially now that I'm pregnant. Not a thing. Dior Show um, mascara. Never opened. We've got this brow gel that I actually had in my wish list forever I got as a sample because I just worked at Sephora. So now I have it and I haven't used it because I just haven't gotten around to it. And there's all kinds of stuff in here. Um, these are the, these are the perfumes that were in this thing. Um, I've got a Valentino scent. There's a lot of scent ones that I'm not super into partly because I am allergic. I have, I have really sensitive skin. So I would put on these scents in the morning before I would go to work. And then I'd find myself scratching at my neck throughout the day. And it just no fun. Another Charlotte Tilbury. Oh, the magic cream. And I just, I'm not big on skin care, so I just never really used it. Let's see what else we got in here. This is the other Lorac palette. You can see how it just gets abuse. We don't use it for other things. Um, Summer Fridays. I've heard that this mask is actually really amazing. But I just don't do skincare. Um, this I got for Christmas. I think this is the one that has a broken thing, so I'm not going to open it. But my mother-in-law gave me two of these Tarte palettes. Or maybe one was a Too Faced. Anyway, I think they were all Tarte palettes. This one or the other one has a broken eyeshadow, so I'm not going to open them. But I haven't really used them. They haven't really spoken to me. Um, and then I have a bunch of, and that's the other part of that Vegamore duo for hair that I don't need. I bought a bunch of brushes on Wish, and these are all the ones that I, like, never, ever use. And then this one, um, I got in an Ipsy box, and I never, ever use it, so it just, they live back here in this drawer. So there's that drawer, and then the other drawer... This drawer used to be my everyday makeup drawer, but now the bathroom and that to-go bag have kind of become the everyday makeup drawer. So this is what, this is where I used to put things that I wanted to use more often, and now it's just kind of become a place where I stash things. This is the bag that all of those samples came in that Christmas. I think it's really cute. Um, I don't know what brand it is so why it's themed that way but it's it's cute um that year my mother-in-law also gave me a bunch of brushes um most of which are back in the bathroom this is the box that came in because i never throw anything away i got this in my welcome samples from sephora it's a compact mirror i can't get it open right now um in this box, I got a bunch of makeup. I think that this picture looks like Kate Hudson. It's not her, but it looks like her. Um, and so I got a bunch of not branded makeup. You know, it was a big old makeup kit. Um, but it's a good box. So in it, I keep um, things that I don't want to throw away for 
empties purposes or for reminding me of things that I bought. Um, and of course now I don't remember a lot of them. I, I remember all the mascaras because I've, I've been on a mascara hunt. And then this was the few, first beauty blender I ever bought. And it was purple and I loved it. So I wanted to keep it even though I definitely shouldn't use it anymore. Um, so then we pop into the rest of it. This was one of the samples in that beehive bag. I think I read it. Yeah, it's a blush. But it's a very, very, very light blush and I don't think it shows up on my face very well. Um, I got a Caudalie sample bag once. Um, and this came in it, and I can't say that I have anything good or bad to say about it. Um, I also got this in a sample thing. Don't have anything good or bad to say about it. I really like this L'Oreal BB cream. Um, I got to a point where Fair was looking kind of light on me, so I tried mixing it with the light, which is definitely too dark on me. It kind of works. The thing is, is that you have to mix these in with your fingers. You have to, or it just looks white on your skin. It's kind of interesting. I like the science. It's cool. I got this general universal lip liner from Sephora a long time ago. This was among my first grown-up girl makeup stuff. My sister bought me some makeup for my wedding years ago and this was part of that and I love it still and I don't use it but I like to keep it around. <laughs> this came in the beehive bag. I still haven't used it but I want to. This is an old concealer that I should just throw away. Um, and more of that bye bye foundation. Bye -bye foundation. This is Another one of my early makeup purchases, I bought it on, oh man, it doesn't exist anymore, but that Nordstrom Rack, it was Hot Look or whatever, you know, like that super sale site that they had where they would have like flash sales, they had one on Stila, so I got this compact and I got these two colors in it, that was before I was married, so it's like a decade old, and then... A little while after I was first married, I got this Bobbi Brown highlighter. It doesn't super show up on my face anymore. It's really old, so there you go. Alright, and then last but not least, we have the makeup that I never ever touch. And that is what's in here. So we've got these brushes. These are ones that I used to use that I don't use so much anymore for one reason or another. Um, and these are makeup brushes that I really don't use anymore. I'm not going to be able to see them very well. Um, well. Let's go ahead and pull this sucker out. Oof. So, I used to think that I was going to have all of my makeup stored in this box and then I would put them in that one drawer have that drawer be my everyday makeup drawer and have this be where I just looked through stuff and now it's just kind of become that this is where all of my old makeup lives there's our third mica beauty this one's green um here's my darker lip stuff that I obviously oh except for this coral one that's not dark um this is technically my first foray into makeup is Mary Kay. My sister used to work for Mary Kay and when I started to become a little bit of a preteen she got me one of these. Um, I have since changed out the colors and stuff but I just have a soft spot for it and this lipstick is really pretty although it's old. This. Um, this it was my my sister bought this for me with my 
wedding makeup. So I wore this on my wedding day. Um, this is Mary Kay insert things. Um, and this blush and this eyeshadow and this highlighter, um, I got in an Ipsy subscription and I found that I really, really loved this. I love Pacifica. This blush was good too. And this highlighter, they were all good. I loved them all. So I wanted to use them, but I had other things that I wanted to use more. And then my exploration into foundation, and now I want to keep them just so that I have them. Rimmel, this L'Oreal True Match that's like way too dark for me. Um, I don't even remember using these. But I remember using that one. I remember using that one because I was following British YouTubers at the time and they loved Rimmel. Um, and then we go on this side. And we have more lip stuff. We have... Um, I really love clear lip gloss and I didn't have any at the time so my mom bought me this from Jennifer. Um, got this in a kit. Um, this was a Christmas present. It's some kind of non-branded lip gloss. I'm not really a lip gloss wearer so most of the lip gloss stays in here. More clear lip gloss. A pink lip gloss that I liked a lot. A lip liner from that off-brand thing. And then we have the random. So we got sponges. Here it is. Oh, that's an eyeliner. But this is an eyeliner that I bought from Sephora a long time ago. That's big. And I wanted to get into cool makeup. And and you can see I tried sharpening it with a knife at one point. Which is why it looks like that. Instead of nice and pretty. Um, I tried bare minimal bare minimals bare minerals foundation and a bunch of eyeliner tries one of them is purple one of them is silver my first foray into liquid eyeliner didn't go too badly i would like to say and here in the bottom i have my nail polishes and a bunch of paper that i put samples of stuff. So here, here's the paper on which I put. This is samples of every color of nail polish that is in this box. And then on this paper, I have samples of lipstick and lip gloss and eyeshadow. And then my Too Faced Christmas palette. And this was like everything else in the box. Oh yeah, I have a Milani Rose blush somewhere. Don't know where that's living right now. Oh, I have an idea. We're going to have to go to look at one more spot. Anyway, so this is where the nail polish lives. And all of the nail stuff, because I don't really take care of my nails or paint my nails that often... Um, Essie All-in-One Three-Way Glaze. I recommend this. It's very, very good. And then, because it's almost gone, I bought the Seche Clear stuff. There's a... I have a base and a top coat, and I don't recommend it. I don't think it really works. Um, Alright, so we have one more spot to look. I was wrong. Hold on. The final spot is my, what is this called? Caboodle. My mom got me a caboodle and I love it, but my daughter loves it too. And so even though I bought her her own caboodle, she still really loves to use mine. So I have to, I don't have really a lot of makeup in here or yeah see like she she went through and she tore this thing a new one um oh yeah so here in the bottom is the rest of my makeup <laughs> good gravy so here was my 
try into gel eyeliner. Once again, not bad. I don't hate gel eyeliner. After trying all of those samples, I settled on it the Hourglass Stick Foundation. It ended up being too light for me, but using that dim, that dim light from Hourglass as well also really helped balance it out and make it look like it was actually my skin color. This came in the Caudalie set and I liked it. Um, not enough to repurchase it obviously, but this was my first brow whiz. My first brow product that I ever bought. Um, as you can see, I killed it. Um, well loved. Um, Rimmel Stay Matte. Well loved. Used it a lot. Um, I don't know if I used it a lot because it was good or because that's what I had and I thought that you had to cover your face with powder after everything. Um, I bought these off Amazon because they were cheap. And this was my attempt at um, replicating the brightener from Maybelline and just having a regular concealer. They're not that great. They were super duper cheap, so that kind of reflects. This is a wish brush that my daughter used on stuff. Um, this is an eyeshadow brush. I, I don't, I can't read the brand. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this brand. It's okay. I got it as a present. Um, mascara wand, you guys know. Here we go, here's the Milani Rose Blush. I got it because it was popular on YouTube and I like it. It's a good blush, so I have no complaints here. I do not like this BB cream. Um, I got it when I was going to go to the hospital with my daughter and um, it just didn't look good on me. I don't remember. I don't know if it was the color or what. Um, another Sephora birthday sampler. It's a chapstick from NARS. It works fine. And then here in our grand finale, we have Meet Matt Nude. I got it on flip. So I've filmed the videos and I don't know if I'm ever going to post them. Um, we can talk about that in comments, I guess. But I flip the, the app flip it used to be called flip fit and it was all about clothes and then they made the transition to beauty products and it was when they were in the middle of the transition from clothing to beauty products i got a bunch of clothes i got meat mat nude i got some brushes you know um anyway um i like flip because it actually can give you good deals on things um so i'm thinking about doing a flip purchase in the near future but that's gonna have to wait a little while but anyway let's try to get this open one-handed okay um i let my daughter get into this because i don't really like it um i think i'm not really an all matte look kind of person i like my shimmers and i don't feel like the lighter colors in this palette with the exception of like the white are light enough to give me the kind of dimensional looks on my eyes that I prefer. So I don't know, maybe I'll play with it some more even though it's been destroyed by my daughter, but I'm not super into it, especially because as, as we have established, I am, I should probably not talk to you while I'm slamming everything shut in my caboodle. Um, I'm a regular makeup girl. I love makeup, but I don't have a lot of occasion to wear it. I don't, I just, you know, I, I don't wear makeup every day. So, 
you know, in the hierarchy of things that I have, something like meat mat nude that I'm not crazy about, I'm just going to leave it in the caboodle and let it sit there for my daughter to play with later while I play with the makeup that I actually want to play with. Um, but if you want to become a makeup guru, you have to start playing with makeup. So I will try. Anyway, I will see you guys on the flip side. All right, so you saw all my makeup. Like I said, not a very big collection. Um, I've got some stuff in there that I love, some stuff in there that I don't love as much. You know how it goes. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time. See ya!